Hello and welcome to Magnificent Mondays. I'm Mia Signs, and this is all about inspiring you for your week, which inspires you for your next week and for your life. And we also do free readings on Mondays. So welcome. Um, I love this talk that we're going to do today and just ideas on how to support you, how to empower your day, taking it into your week, and of course, the free readings that we're going to do. So what that looks like is how do you empower your day and how do you take it into your week? Some people know this without knowing it and some people just don't have a clue. So, and some people know it because they do it. So the best way to empower yourself is to have a morning routine that supports you. So that would mean that you might also have um, meditation, five, 20 minutes, you might also have some form of um, spiritual reading from books. You might do your own card stuff. You might want to just be still. You might want to do your mirror work in the morning. You might want to do your grounding work, your journaling, anything that supports you moving forward. Now, from there, where do we go? We keep doing this throughout the day. One way to make sure that you're staying in your state of grace, so to speak, would be to set your alarm three times a day. And then when it goes off, question yourself, what am I doing? What am I thinking? What have I been focusing on? Is it what I wanna focus on or is it otherworldly chaos? This is how we train ourselves to have consistently smooth lives, if, if this all makes sense. Um, and of course it does. I know it does. So little bits at a time, guys, small steps here and there as you move through things. Um, also, in the evening, prep yourself, take your self-care time, allow yourself to connect with the spiritual essence of who you are. Remember, body, mind, and spirit is the most powerful thing. So what does that mean? That means you're, when your body is in balance because you're doing things to support your body, not just working out, walking, uh, eating better, also doing processes to remove the trauma, the locked in um, spaces of emotion that have been trapped in our bodies from our exterior, right? Things that have happened to us. Um, <clears throat> the mind, make sure your emotional space is cleared. Make sure your mental space is cleared. This all leads to mental fortitude. It's really, really powerful when we're able to shift and move who we are. So then the, the spiritual side, what does that look like for you? Do you have your own spiritual routine, your own spiritual stuff going on? Do you find that supportive? So in your body, mind, and spirit activation, you want them all being at, worked on at once because once you light them all up then they start to support each other but before bedtime there's um a uh, a track on one of my cds called restful intentions and it's about grounding yourself into being able to fall asleep soon some people have insomnia some people have uh um sleep apnea. Some people just have depression. They can't get there. It's about meditating yourself through to a different energetic space. But with that, we don't just prepare ourselves for night. We prepare ourselves for the entire time. So it's not just the night now. It's also going through the night into the next morning. And so what that looks like is when you get up, you already have some of that empowered space that you've been working on from the day before and the clarity at night. And you're already focusing on the fact that your day is going to be smooth and harmonious, whether you drive to work or whether you stay at home. You don't have to leave the house screaming and yelling at the next person in the car because you've already, and I'm not talking about somebody in your car, but that too, but somebody driving next to you, you're already in your state of grace or your balance by the time you get to the next day. So you still do the same thing. Then you get up again and you do that morning routine we just talked about. And then you create that space and you set your alarms again three times a day to check on what your thinking is. 
And then at nighttime, you prepare yourself with smoothness. You know what happens when we do this? It's not just about wanting to have a routine of smoothness. It's about creating a life of smoothness. So as you work through your mornings, your days, and your awareness, you're starting to train yourself to automatically do it. So there you're setting new patterns, right? You're setting new neural pathways that are creating new patterns and replacing the old patterns. And so when you take it again back to the night and then prepare yourself for night and then for the next day, you've already done half, as they say, half the battle, half the work. So write this out for yourself to be able to do this smooth path so that you can create when your alarm goes off. This may take you, give yourself an extra 30 minutes or 60 minutes because you're going to find that that time gets swallowed up so fast, but you're also going to discover that it's a really powerful experience for you, meaning that you're going to be changing the actual person who you are. You're going to get calmer, smoother, happier, more joyful. Things are going to be able to be able to be created or manifested easier. When we work with the energy of lightness and divinity, and we take out the chaos, the trauma, the fear, the darkness, then that's where all the magic is. That's where all the peace and harmony and the life that we actually want. Okay, so uh, did you have any questions on that, Karen? And if not, I'm gonna get on to the reading because this was just a little inspirational reminder of how to keep these patterns going. Remember, the Greatest You Academy or the one on Facebook, The Greatest You Revolution, we give a lot of tips and tricks and stuff through the day. So whether you're watching this through the email or on the self-love revolution, um, or even in the greatest uh, you revolution, make sure that you're utilizing all the things that we're able to give you so that you can create that for yourself. So first we're going to do the drawing or the reading for um, today's energy and the group. And then we're gonna do Karen's. I also want to say that we probably won't be doing these again until January because um, if we have the lines more full with people, I'm happy to do it. But since since a lot of people aren't coming on, I'm assuming that it's because you're busy with the holidays. So, okay, this is really great, guys. One, because it's the new year and two, because it's for this group. So Vesta is the card, the first card that we drew which is about home. So it talks about your occupancy in your homes are changing, but really what this is for the most part, um, cause it talks about a healthy change in your occupants. It's about the internal space within yourself. So interesting that we picked this for the new year and for this week going forward, because um, it's all framed for what the new year would bring. And I love it when the cards do this. So my aunt fairness, is the next one. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So what does, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Kali, endings and beginnings. The old must end before the new begins. So when we put these all together and we have Vesta and we have Mayat, Fairness, and we have Kali, endings and beginnings, what we're looking at is one for the, this is obvious for a new year reading is that there's a lot of change and everybody wants to change within themselves and their goals. So that's, that's why this one's so cool about the home, but also remember guys on that front, be fair and kind and just with yourself, gentle and light instead of harsh. And you're going to be ending and bringing in new beginnings, not just because it's a new year, 
but one, because your desire is there. And also there's a lot of people who do this thing where we have these cycles in our life. Some people actually cycle out at the end of the year and start all over again. So however you and your cycles work, know that this is for, this is a really great one. And I love the fact again, that it talks about self, right? And also to be fair and just. So it looks to me like the new year with the endings and beginning this about, which is very wild, about self, the greatest you, uh, self-love, you know, all of it is about you. So let's put these back in different spaces so that when I shuffle the cards, they'll only pop up again if the universe wants it for the hair. I was reading. Okay. And we have another person coming in. <clears throat> hey, Allison, you made it for the reading. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We did our talk already really quick. So you made wow. it. For the I'm pulling Karen cards now. Okay. We did a card pull for the new year, and I talked about that on here right before you came on, and that was the wildest um, self type of draw. It was about the body or home. It was about uh, interest and fairness, and then Kali endings and beginnings, and it's like, that's really amazing for the new year because most people are working on themselves. <laughs> so, okay, so this is for Karen. This is a really powerful... Uh, Draw Karen. So Ishtar boundaries, love yourself enough to say no to others' energies. Abundant to prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance to you. Begin to open and receive. And Diana, I love this. Focused intentions. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will uh and you will make your mark. So what does this mean to you? I feel like you're already um working on your boundaries. But this is really a cool draw for a few different things. Um, this is one I'm seeing um, for about money and also about relationship. Um, if you wanna hop on or text, you can. Otherwise I'm gonna move on in a minute because these are mini readings, but there's space if you wanted to, to go a little bit deeper here. So uh, sure. I love this one. You want me to text or you want no, to do it later? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do yours in a minute. This this one, oh, is, okay. this one is for Karen. So I got guess, it. I guess Karen's uh, not replying and that's okay. So now I'm going to move on to Allison. Uh, I'm glad you uh, agree. Hello, I don't know if you can hear me. Oh, there you are. Yes, oh. I can hear you. Hi. So um, we pulled for you, as I put it in here, we pulled uh, Boundaries Ishtar, we pulled, um, uh, we pulled Diana um, Focused Intentions, but we, who was the middle one? Um, uh, Abundant Prosperity. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for doing these readings as well. Um, it's really um, generous of you and your time and your gifts. Oh, well, I want to support people and show people that they are, um, you know, there's help everywhere. So thank you. So uh, as far as these um, boundaries and the Abundanita and Diana, do they feel like they're um, supporting you right now? Is that something that you've been working uh, on? It is. It all makes a lot of sense. And as you were doing the readings, um, I seem to process by getting like this abdominal contraction. Mm -hmm. And the minute you start doing my reading, that started happening. So I presume oh, wow. stuff is Good. moving. Yeah. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. I still really love the fact that Ishtar came up about boundaries, but it also feels like you've been working with that. So, um, yeah. 
So that's really yeah. beautiful. It also feels like it's a, the, the readings about um, relationship and money, not just the relationship to money, but it also feels like both to me. So um, okay. all things to be aware of. On yeah. This yeah. So feel into that and see if these cards support you further for the week. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank Have you. a good day, honey. You too. Thank you. Okay, Allison, now you're up. Thank you. Okay. Huh? I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> All right. Ooh, you got two, you got uh two pulled out at once. Oh wow, interesting. Okay. Oh wow, interesting. All right. So <laughs> take I take these cards and I um I I layer them like a piece here to put in a card, a piece, you know, pick up a stack, put and then I shuffle them. So uh you got a couple of the cards that we've been uh pulling today, which is great. So Vesta, also the body, the home within. It can also mean uh, exterior person or a change in residence, you know, like you're actually moving. Um, Diana, again, you just pulled her right before. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so focused intentions. And then you got Ishtar, too. Wow. It's so wild that, that, you know, they're placed separately. I love that. But your card that was stuck with uh, Ishtar, they came together is uh, Freya bold, unleash your adventure side and take risks and be daring. Um, so I know that there's a lot going on with you and these, mm -hmm. and these feel uh, appropriate. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm not sure what happened to my camera. I don't know where you are. There you are. I'm here. So um, it was me. I knocked everything off out of the whole screen. So, um, you know, this is a pretty, uh, this is a decent, a very decent, beautiful deck, beautiful pull. Because again, um, we don't have the abundance here, but we have the home and the body, which is all part of it, just like the, the one before. You'll always, everybody's going to want to get the high. Um, oh, the other one was focused intentions. Well, I'm glad you got this one because I also am crazy about Dana, the high priestess. So um, your divinity allows you, you already know everything that's within you, your spiritual awareness and everything. So that's with Dana. Okay, me, I get the cards right. <laughs> so the home and this awareness, honey. So these are like the body, mind, and spirit together. Okay. So, um, and then this other one, be bold about it all. Um You've been on a long journey of your own body, mind, and spirit experience. And I think it's also time, one, to reach out a little bit for support, but also to understand that you've got it, that you've done this stuff. You know it. So what does that look like? That probably would be a lot like what our talk was about, was how to support yourself and then take it on through your week. So start a good... Um, I know that you've had your morning routines, um, mm -hmm. but for this next year or even through the holidays, if it's a little bit lighter, find something that's maybe a little bit different that you want to try that is all about you in the morning that supports you. It could okay. be journaling, it could be your mirror work, it could be making your coffee or tea and that, that focused intention on your day and then also supporting yourself with the awareness that you're making this for yourself, right? So that's the highest okay. self-love and miracle of that, that you are connected to this. We also use Dr. Moda's theory on water 
in the concept of our food when we prepare it to make it. So the same thing you do with love and joy and you are reaping the benefits of love. And if you were angry when you did it or didn't care, then that's going into your body. Okay. Um, and you're bolder than you're allowing yourself to be. You know what this means more than anyone because it's about you. Bold, bold in, in the way of standing up for yourself. Another one would be Bridget, don't back down. I think that there might be an interior thing going on with you. Hmm. If that makes sense. It um, does. It so. really does. And and you've got these beautiful awarenesses in Ishtar, Dana, and Vesta. So again, I keep hearing that you know more. I mean, obviously we all know more than what we allow ourselves to be, but you've been doing the work a long time. I know because you're a past client. So take that awareness, you know, in healings and um, things like that, people have to understand that when they're having their healing and they feel it and things shift and change, that, that aspect's healed unless you want to drag it out of the closet again. So don't rehearse, don't rehash, allow it to settle down and step into that space of your own abundant power. Okay. Anything else you want to say, no, hear anything? Um, no, no, I think, I think that's good. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So let's get... Um, Dana is also Danny. Hello to you. It's been a couple of weeks while we were here this morning. We have an amazing, um, <laughs> we were just, I was just working on part of mine um, part. Uh, we have starting in January, we're going to start to advertise at the end of the month, we have a new challenge for specifically for spiritual empathic people. Um, it's called uh, becoming firmly fully becoming fully rooted going to be really cool. Okay, so this is for. Okay, wow, here we go again. <laughs> Bold, Freya. Unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. Rian, and I think you've, we've pulled this one before for you, um, Dana, so this is powerful. Rian and Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And Lakshmi, bright future. I think we've done this one for you too. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So with these, um, this is really a very uh, sweet and powerful draw because it's a reminder that maybe even perhaps to pick up your spiritual side because it is who you are in your morning practice, Dana. And um, again, like what we were saying, what I was saying to Allison, you've already known a lot of this stuff. It's about getting back into that conscious awareness that everything is smooth. But yet I'm seeing in Lakshmi in the bright future, um, I am seeing this exactly. It's really weird. It's like I see an opening <laughs> to the new year, but I see light around it for you, which says step through for me. Um, I'm not sure if that's, I don't know if that's real estate or something, but anyways, um, I hope that this, uh, this draw has supported you. If you want to ask me anything, you can before we move on.
Okay. Alrighty. Let's see, Danny, I started therapy a few weeks ago and it has been great. Good, 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 honey. Um, very powerful. Good. Yeah. That's, that's sort of one aspect that I've seen before for you, but you know, that's one thing. Um, I think you need more talk, you know, because, um, talk connection heals. And I think that that's what you, you need. You need to be able to talk it out like that so that you're healing the little aspects, but there's so much brightness and good your way. It's really beautiful. So during this time, remember, you know, we talk about knowing it all in the spiritual realm and the conscious realm, but again, the human side um, absolutely wants to be supported. So I'm really happy that you're doing that. Good, good, good. Okay, wonderful. All right, guys. So as I mentioned, if you guys want me to come back on Monday, uh, go to the email or the Facebook group and let me know because I'm uh, until we get more regular people in, in the new year, um, I don't mind. I love doing this for you guys, but at first I thought it was just going to be me and Karen. So, um, and I'd rather, you know, it is the holidays. So let me know if you guys want readings on Monday, the 26th, and I'm happy to do that. Um, good. I'm so glad, Dana. I'm so glad that's really, really beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Your energy looks really beautiful too. All right, everybody, big love to you, and we will see you soon. Okay, bye.